Are Facebook ads still as effective in 2021 as they were back in 2019 or 2020? In this video, that's what I'm gonna be covering, so stay tuned if you are considering running Facebook ads for your business, or maybe you've been running Facebook ads and you're not seeing the results that you're wanting to see, so now you're doing some research and you're trying to determine if you should continue with Facebook ads, stay tuned on this video, click the thumbs up button if you get value, and let's go ahead and jump into it, starting with introducing you to me, telling you who I am. I am. My name is Ian Smith. I run an Amazon marketing agency. I work with a lot of Amazon sellers and we help them with running Facebook ads, Google ads, email marketing, chat bots, social media management. We do direct mail funnels. We help Amazon sellers rank higher, get reviews and overall scale their business. So if you want to book a free consulting call with me, head over to evolvemedia.agency and I look forward to chatting with you. All right, so let's jump into really the first thing that you need to know when running Facebook ads. All right, so the effectiveness of Facebook ads is gonna come down to your business model and your actual products. Now, Facebook ads is gonna be a lot more effective for you if you have a consumable product line or consumable products that people will come back and buy from you month after month after month, or if you only have products that are non-consumables, then you need to have a wide product line and a lot of products so that you can cross-sell them product B, C, D, and all the way down because basically you need to bring people up the value ladder. It is not going to be profitable for you to run Facebook ads driving them to a one or two product company that is a non-consumable product because there's just not enough upsell potential. You're not gonna be able to get your average cart value high enough to make Facebook ads profitable. Typically, depending on your price point, your cost per customer acquisition is gonna range anywhere from $25 to $50. The more that you can spend to acquire your customer, the better your overall business is gonna be, the better time you're gonna have with Facebook ads because if you can acquire a customer for a higher price while still being profitable because you have a back end or you have a value ladder that's going to upsell them and get more money out of them over the next several months, then you are good to be spending a good amount of money on Facebook and scale that up to getting to 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 a month because you know that your overall lifetime value of your customer is at X and your cost per new customer acquisition is at maybe a third of X or a fourth of X. So your lifetime value of your customer is extremely important and is what's going to determine if Facebook ads are a good fit for you or not because you need to be able to acquire customers at a high enough level and then be able to make that profit back over time plus more in order to actually make running ads profitable. I see it so many times that businesses are trying to run Facebook ads or trying to run Google ads and they just don't have a good pre-purchase or post-purchase funnel set up. You need to have a solid post-purchase funnel because it is just so expensive these days to actually acquire a customer that if you're acquiring them for the same cost of what you're selling your product or even half your cost, you may not be profitable over the long term. So now that we got all of that out of the way, let's talk about some of the newer recent things going on with Facebook. Now the one thing is their Pixel. They've done this complete revamp and changeover with their Pixel and it is very frustrating because it's a lot more limiting now. It doesn't gather as much data now. Facebook is blaming Apple like big time. They're just basically saying, oh, because of Apple's iOS changes, this is because, and then Facebook is going and making a whole bunch of changes on their own with their Pixel, and I think it's a cop-out. I think that they're just placing the blame on Apple when really Facebook is is dropping the ball. They're, they're messing up somehow that is preventing them from getting that data like they were before. Maybe it's the government saying uh, your, your privacy acts or you know, sharing all this information. Maybe the government doesn't like that. Either way though, the Facebook pixel has gone downhill. It's not as good as it was before when it comes to tracking conversions, retargeting, being able to import data into the pixel like a custom audience, being able to create even lookalikes. Lookalikes have gone downhill. I've, I've tested this across multiple campaigns and sometimes they work really well. Majority of the time though, lookalikes don't work like they did in the past and it's very frustrating. So pixel issues are pretty common and overall the pixel effectiveness has gone down in my personal opinion now i'm not sure if this next point is relating to the pixel issues or if it's just the demand of the platform and the supply and everything like that but costs have went up over the past year now this is cost as far as cost per click 
cost per landing page view, cost per overall conversions, cost per purchase. They've just gotten a lot higher and I believe it could be due to demand. Maybe there is a lot more advertisers these days and not as much supply because people are leaving Facebook to go to TikTok, go to YouTube, go to Snapchat, go to all these other different platforms. Maybe that's why costs have gone up is because there's less people and there's a lot more advertisers. But overall, I've been seeing costs go up and overall, I've been seeing more glitches happening on the actual ads themselves as far as um, clicks not working when driving traffic into a messenger bot, it not firing the actual message to be sent to them. I've been seeing a lot of issues around faulty shutdowns, account shutdowns, where Facebook accidentally shuts down your account. Now you're deactivated for a period of time. Then when you appeal it, oh, they flip the lights back on and now your account is back up and running. Meanwhile, you had a bunch of stress and maybe you lost a lot of business. So it really is a stressful place to advertise because their customer support is the worst I've ever seen in the world, to be honest. With a company their size, their customer support is very, very bad. So customer support is bad. You got you know, random shutdowns just happening with your account. And then they seem to be cracking down on the types of businesses that can actually advertise. Like it seems like the list is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. They're not letting a whole lot of business advertise. Like I work with a lot of supplement clients and it seems like if you are a supplement business and you're wanting to run ads on Facebook, forget about it. It's not gonna happen. Supplements do not exist on Facebook ads, ads anymore. And it's it's challenging because you can go to other big supplement companies and you can see that they're running ads. But then when you try to run an ad, same ad copy or same product, your ad gets rejected, your account gets shut down. It's just a, a very uh, frustrating process these days running ads on Facebook. But if you're in a category that is safe and that you pass all of Facebook's policies, it doesn't mean that you're in the clear, it just means that you have a lower risk, you have a, a lower chance of getting shut down. But then you have to deal with bad pixel issues, higher cost per clicks. Um, you know, to me personally, it doesn't seem like video ads work as well anymore. Um, conversion tracking is, is lower and also custom audiences seem to be smaller than normal. Like when I drive traffic from Facebook over to a website, it seems like I'm not able to actually target, you know, based on the actual impressions and what I know the website has as far as traffic. And I'm looking at the impressions and I'm looking at the frequency of the ads. I'm like, why is the frequency so high? The impressions are so low, but I have all of this traffic on the website. And then even the custom audience is showing that I have, you know, a similar number to what is showing in my actual website backend. But for some reason, the ads just aren't serving, right? They're just not serving to all the people. They're only serving to a small segment of the people. And that's my next point is that sometimes I will import in custom audience data, I try to target that custom audience with an ad set, and it doesn't spend money. It will literally, it shows in the custom audience area, there's, you know, 10,000 people in this custom audience. So I know that there's data there. Um, but for some reason, when I try to run an ad targeting that audience, no money gets spent. So it, I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's on purpose from Facebook. Maybe they don't want me to run ads to those people. I don't know what it is, but so many issues and just, you know, overall, what I'm trying to get at with this video is that Facebook is not as effective these days as it was in 2019 and even 2020. So if you are experiencing issues with the Facebook platform as far as higher cost per click, higher cost per conversion, your ad accounts being shut down, your page being shut down from sending out messages, maybe you're trying to run Facebook ad traffic over into a mini chat or messenger bot and you're having issues with their you're not alone. It's happening across the board, across multiple accounts. It doesn't seem like Facebook has any intentions to, to fix this problem. Their support is garbage. So <laughs> I just wanted to be able to vent a little bit about Facebook because I've been having a lot of frustrations with the platform. And this is kind of why I'm moving to other platforms. I've been doing a lot more Google ads. I've been looking into other platforms and other ways to do traffic, whether it's direct mail marketing, doing email marketing, buying lists, and just different strategies to to kind of escape from the the Facebook paradise, you know, looking at native ads, even Amazon has their own kind of ad platform that they're developing. So hope 
is on the way it's on the horizon there's going to be other options to get highly effective traffic other than facebook even if you've been blacklisted from facebook because you sell that particular type of product that is not allowed on their platform but anyway i wouldn't recommend spending money with facebook if you can find some kind of alternative platform to get somewhat decent traffic from but if you can't then go back to facebook try out instagram and just see how far you get. Thanks for watching, and hopefully this video was somewhat helpful for you. I'll see you in the next one.